are Chelsea looking to hijack Ivan Tony, or is it all a scheme to get Ossiman to sweat just a bit more towards the end of this transfer window? Kepa Rizabalaga and Romelu Lukaku are both almost gone and out the door. Jaden Sancho to Chelsea in a swap deal. And all of this in the final days before deadline day as Chelsea look to offload as many players as possible. Before we begin, as always, it's Potch O'Clock. I keep saying Potch O'Clock. <laughs> it ends o'clock. Uh, before we start, please note... Um, that I will be changing it to ends o'clock. I just keep saying Potter clock. But of course, um, I will as well be doing a live watch along for the Civet game, uh, the second leg on Thursday and the following day, as we all know, Friday night. Please join me for a transfer deadline day stream starting at 6 p.m. until the clock comes down to zero. We count the clock down together as though it's New Year's Eve and uh, we keep an eye out for some big deadline day deals or sales at the same time. Up first, and Kepra Arizabalaga is almost gone, except, except, unfortunately, not on a permanent move. The Spaniard has in fact actually extended his contract at Chelsea by a further year, all while signing a deal with Bournemouth. Yes, Bournemouth on loan that will see him play for the Cherries until July of 2025. For Lukaku, <laughs> the deal is a lot different. And thank goodness for that. Thank goodness. Goodness, for that, uh, the light is visible at the end of the tunnel. Uh, at last, at long, long last, as reported, there are no issues, no problems for Rom Romelu Lukaku's move to Napoli from Chelsea. Uh, it's a matter of document checks and a review of contracts ahead of of a medical. Um, Lukaku has been in touch with former Chelsea boss Antonio Conte since Friday. The deal will last three years uh, for a fixed fee of around 30 million euros plus add-ons up to another 15 million euros, totaling 45 million euros all said and done. If I'm not mistaken, was it 80 million we paid for him? So 35 million pounds down the swanning and a whole shitload of money and in terms of wages. But but it's all said and done. 45 million if the add-ons are to be added on um, by the end of the three years. Which, if you ask me, was way, way more than any of us would have ever hoped for. And frankly, thank God. Good fucking riddance. See you never. Just, just go away. I never want to see your, your, your stupid face again. Up next. <laughs> and we have potential, uh, more potential uh, exits, including David Datra Fafana. We saw Tino Andrin uh, leave to Empoli uh, on, on a permanent deal, which will see us get 50%, 50% of all future sales that he is involved in. So it's a pretty good business there, I would argue. Armando Breuer, as of right now, his move to Ipswich may collapse, which it just doesn't seem to be going right for him anymore, if ever. Um, his deal appears to be collapsing as there are issues after formal steps. So need to keep an eye on that one. Keep your eyes peeled. Um, I'm, I've got a feeling that's going to come around on the deadline day for sure. And several other players either seeking an exit or will exit before the window closes, um, including the biggest name of all potential exits, not including Kepa Rizabalaga and Romelu Lukaku, uh, but the biggest name of them all. And as we move on to our next story, Raheem Sterling, Raheem the Dream Sterling, and more significantly, the move, including one Jaden Sancho. Reports suggest that the next few hours, not days, but hours, uh, will be crucial in a potential swap deal surrounding Raheem Sterling in, going in the direction of Manchester United and Jaden Sancho coming back in the other direction towards West London, um, most specifically to Chelsea Football Club. Ornstein reported uh, very recently in the last hour or so from, from when I was recording this uh, that Jadon Sancho is likely to exit Manchester United before the deadline. Uh, Manchester United are in talks with both Juventus and Chelsea for a permanent deal or and or a loan. Um, Chelsea would preferably, 
um, or sorry, Chelsea would probably rather need a player to move in the other way. A la Raheem Sterling is being the most feasible um, person out of the lot, but, uh, but, but, but a lot must happen in order for that to materialise. Obviously, it has been reported that he is open to a move to Manchester United. Um, he's already played in Manchester, as we know, at Manchester City. Um, so it's not anything out of the realm of possibilities there. He's probably still got a house there or, or whatever. Um, now, remember... Crucial numbers here. Sterling is currently earning around £325,000 per week, while Sancho earns roughly £250,000 per week. So a significant saving in salaries there, which the board will be very happy with there. Um, if it's a like-for-like, like, as reported, sure, why not? But if we're adding Sancho to a side already littered with wingers, what's the point? What is the point? Um, that said, Sterling is all but gone at this point. So is there really any loss in this situation? 24 years of age for Sancho uh, compared to Raheem at 29. I personally don't care for Sancho. Maybe a couple of years ago, I would have been a bit more excited at the idea of it. But it's a bit of a Jao Felix situation where I didn't really care at the time. And now he's bagging goals like he was against Wolves. I'm all for it. <laughs> I don't think he's even remotely the player uh, he once appeared to be or, or, or was touted to become. Prove me wrong if you do come to Chelsea Football Club. But there's always a possibility. And having worked with Palmer before, who knows what could happen. Um, and last but not least, we move on to the final and arguably the biggest story of the day. Uh, the news that everyone has been talking about today, and that is Ivan Tony to Chelsea. Now, it has and was reported earlier this week that he had verbally agreed a deal to sign with Saudi club Al uh, Ali. Uh, but now Chelsea being Chelsea, we see a potential deal to be made. We've we've said, hold your horses, hold your horses for just one second there. Uh, now, several aspects to consider here with a potential deal. Uh, Ivan Tony has been offered around 60 million euros on a three-year deal, averaging around uh, £400,000 per week. Now, up from his current wage of around £20,000 a week at Brentford, a, a reminder to you that if you've either forgotten or didn't know, Ivan Tony is Brentford's 20th highest paid player at the club. Tw you heard that right, 20th highest played player at Brentford. So for Chelsea to be able to swoop in and convince him that we are the better option, it's going to take some doing. Now, nothing has been reported in terms of numbers, in terms of what Chelsea have offered. Uh, however, Chelsea are, of course, eyeing all, uh, any and all options when it comes to a future number nine. We were close to signing Samu Amorodian not long ago. That fell through. Now we've got Felix. Uh, we've, of course, been tickling the nutsack of one Victor Rossiman um, to be our idea of a solution um, Sorry, uh, for, for what seems like months now, <laughs> to no avail. So now, proven Premier League talent and goal scorer Ivan Tony appears to be our idea of a solution. Or is it all smoke and mirrors? That's my... My question, that's the conundrum right now. Is Tony, who is someone who, who is known for his taste for money, you know, £400,000 a week, Ivan, is that, is that really something he can afford to turn down to play for Chelsea and stay in the Premier League? 28 years of age, let's not forget. It's a huge, huge payday. All I wonder is whether a move for Ivan Tony is legitimate or whether it's a ploy to make Ossiemen sweat and move closer to securing a move to Chelsea once and for all. Either way you spin it, Ossiemen has to leave. He's got no place at Napoli anymore. Either way you go, whether it's Ivan Tony, whether it's Victor Ossiemen, you've got a proven goal scorer in either striker. With that said... Let me know your thoughts on the recent transfer news. Who would you prefer? Who would you prefer and why? 
out of Ivan, Tony, and Victor Awesome. And please like the video, subscribe, hit the bell notification to be notified of any future content. On the channel, it's going to be a busy, busy week. We've got a game. We've got a transfer deadline day. And then we've got a game again on Sunday against the Eagles in Crystal Palace. Once again, my name is Harry. Up the Chelsea. And peace.